yesterday, grabbed a coffee, walking down the street. Somebody's walking toward me. Uh, and he looked at me, just kind of shook his head and gave me the middle finger. He kept walking. I kept walking a little bit, but then I turned around. And, and, and for context, when people recognize me, oftentimes it will be like that, or it will be thumbs up. You're doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. Depends on where I am. If I'm in more of a Trumpy area, generally it's more shut up middle finger. If I'm in more of a democratic area, generally it's more, <laughs> generally it's more thumbs up. By the way, that's the, I get that every day. People say I look like Jeffrey Epstein. My response always is, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I think I'm better looking than Jeffrey Epstein was. Um, uh, but but I turned around and I, and, and I said, hey, what was that for? This guy yesterday who shook his head at me and gave me the middle finger, he turned around and he said, because you're helping her win and you're a turncoat because you turned on Trump. Now, he did not say that in a real hostile manner. And we were about eight, 10 feet away from each other. Just a short story here. I walked up to him in a non-hostile manner. And I said, I appreciate that. Because oftentimes I told him, people will just give me a middle finger and they'll keep walking and never kind of explain to me why they're giving me the middle finger. I appreciate you giving me a why. Will you give me just a minute to explain why? He said, yeah, I'm holding a cup of coffee. We sat there on the sidewalk, stood there on the sidewalk with each other. And I explained, I won't go into detail, but I explained to him why me as a Tea Party conservative is supporting Kamala Harris and why I turned against Donald Trump six years ago. I gave him my explanation. He listened, asked me a couple questions, shook his head, disagreed with me, but he and I Here's the point of the story. He and I, for about three to four minutes, had a respectful conversation right there out on a sidewalk. A guy who four or five minutes prior gave me the middle finger and shook his head at me. He and I just, he, he and I had a four to five minute respectful. Clearly we disagreed with each other. We're standing on a sidewalk but we were able to have a respectful conversation. And it ended with him saying, I appreciate you taking the time. I don't agree with words you just said, Joe, but I kind of now understand why you're doing what you are doing. I understand now. And I appreciate you taking a couple minutes. I thanked him and, and, I, and I, I, I thanked him for being respectful and we went our separate ways. Why do I tell you this story? Here's why. This is the social contract. That story, that, this, this was yesterday, the social contract in action. We can't be a country where every day we're flipping each other off, shaking our heads at each other and yelling at each other. We don't have to be a country that will agree on everything, but we have to be a country that is able to engage in respectful conversation. And as importantly, a country who can kind of gain an understanding of the people who disagree with us. I did that in five minutes on a sidewalk in an American city yesterday with a hardcore Trump supporter who vehemently disagreed with me, who gave me the middle finger. We didn't find common ground. We each gained an understanding. He understood, he said, why I'm doing what I do. 
That's more than half the ball game. Oh, if only we could all understand each other better.